as a rule, a market's demand and supply will come to a natural equilibrium, unless outside forces like government regulation do not allow it. Governments often use price controls to attempt to control markets. A price ceiling is a price control placed on a market that does not allow the price to rise above it. Much like a balloon is stopped from rising when it reaches the ceiling. A price floor is a price control placed on a market that does not allow the price to drop below it. Just like the floor in a house keeps you from falling into the basement. In the economic model of supply and demand, a price ceiling looks like this. The impact of a ceiling can be seen as we shift the demand in this model. The original intersection of demand and supply occurs at EO. If demand shifts from DO to D1, the new equilibrium would be at E1, unless a price ceiling prevents the price from rising. If the price is not permitted to rise, the quantity supplied remains at 15,000. However, after the change in demand, the quantity demanded rises to 19,000, resulting in a shortage. This model shows the impact of a price floor on a market. The intersection of demand D and supply S would be at the equilibrium point EO. However, a price floor set at PF holds the price above EO and prevents it from falling. The result of the price floor is that the quantity supplied QS exceeds the quantity demanded QD. There is excess supply, also called a surplus. 